Of course, I won't claim that we are always successful. We have had enough of our share of failure. I think all those failures are behind us, but very important to look at continuously on failures and understand why uh, there were the, some failures. Of course, it is very important to speak about failures. We had mission failure in some of our launches in the past. Uh, some of the development launches of uh, launch vehicles definitely did fail, like the one, the first launch of the PSLV failed, the first launch of SSLV failed. We also we couldn't land a soft land on the moon with the Chandrayaan-3. I think they were all uh, realities. And when a failure occurs, we have a very solid mechanism within the organization to understand and go through the analysis of the failure and, and pinpoint the reason why which it failed. And we take a lot of actions and effort to uh, how to mitigate those failures. So as a space agent, I can tell you that this is an unforgiving task of designing space systems, rockets and satellites and missions. Anytime it can fail. And there is no conditions of uh, uh, that failure will never happen. Uh, that can never be told. Precisely it is because of the, this reason that the testing of any space system is not 100% possible in the ground condition. They need to actually fly. And the, when the very first flight is the actual flight and there are no you know, test flights possible in, in the fullest extent. So the conditions in, in missions are always much more gruesome than that you actually do in ground. So this is one of the reasons that failures can happen. But then with the time, with the experience, you engineer systems in very skeptical way. You always ask this question, how it can fail? And we mitigate those failures by appropriate design activities. And this is a uh, nature of our work. Possibly we are better off and I think the Indian ingenuity definitely must be there behind our successes. I am very sure about it.